This is tutorial number 57, and it covers how to create a spline boomerang within SolidWorks. To start off, let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to use the spline tool to make a sketch. So let's click Sketch, click Spline, click Front, and we can sketch out a boomerang. So let's click a point down here, one up here, one down here, and then one on either side of the origin. So we'll make one here, one here, and then we'll go back to where we started. Click OK. And from this, we're able to extrude out the boomerang. So let's click Extrude, and we'll make it come out 10 millimeters. Click OK. And now we've made our boomerang. Now we're able to change the shape of the boomerang by opening up the sketch. Let's right click on it and click Edit Sketch. And we'll use the Smart Dimensioning tool Let's click the origin and let's click the top point and let's make it 60 millimeters. Click OK. And now we've changed the boomerang. Now with the spline tool, all that we're doing when you go into the sketch is that with all the different points that we've created, the spline follows it and creates curves. So in this sketch, we only have five points. Now, if we want to make another sketch, using the spline tool, let's click it, we can make more and more points and it keeps following it and creating curves from it. Click OK, click OK, and now both are extruded out. And we're always able to go back into the sketch, right click on it, click edit sketch, and we're able to smart dimension all the points to one another. So let's make this 180 millimeters, click OK, click Accept, and then it's changed it again. And that concludes our tutorial on the spline boomerang.